Now, I'm a total novice when it comes to sewing. I mean, I could literally count on one hand the amount of times I've sewn before, but today I'll be taking on a new challenge and showing y'all how to turn your old basic pants into some really dope flare jeans. Now, if you're looking for a professional in-depth tutorial, this is definitely not the play. Like I said, I'm still very much a beginner, but I will be sure to break down everything I learned while doing this custom. Now, the two pairs of jeans that I'm using for today are both thrifted. The first pair being these gray wash Levi's 505, and I absolutely love these pants i've gotten a ton of wear out of them but i do have a pair that are essentially identical in black so i figured they were the perfect jeans to turn into the flare now for the second pair i got the blue wash old navy jeans and these are going to be used as my donors for materials so this will be the color of the denim that is used for the actual flare now based off the few tutorials i watched the perfect length for a flare is about 10 inches and currently my levi's 505s are about eight inches long for the leg opening so that means i need at least three inches of width for the fabric so i can get these to 10 inches now, if you're looking at me crazy because the math seems off, for the fabric, I will need at least a half inch on each side for seam allowance. So essentially one inch of the fabric will be sewn into the actual jean. And doing simple math, eight plus two equals 10. Yeah, thanks for the math lesson and all, but can we get to the jeans? And honestly, it's best if I stop explaining now because I'm guessing this is gonna take me a few hours. That's enough explaining. I'm gonna head over to my work table so I can get started on cutting this fabric. Now, the first thing we have to do here is mark out our paneling for the flare. So with my white fabric pencil, I'm marking out 16 inches in length and three inches of width. With that, I'm then gonna draw myself a guideline so I know where to cut. Now, for most, this would seem like the easiest part of the project. Unfortunately, in school, my worst subject just so happened to be art class. And I mean, I literally struggle to draw straight lines with the ruler. Uh, so what should be the easiest task for me, I've already messed up a little bit, as you can see from my guideline, but fingers crossed, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Next, we wanna go ahead and draw a dot for our midpoint. And basically we're gonna draw two lines from each corner and meet it in the middle, which will go ahead and give us a rectangular panel with an even triangle in the middle, which will be our flare. Now it's just time to cut out our panels. And now that I'm done these, it's time to head back to the room where it's time to split the side seam on these black jeans. Similar to the panel, we want to open these up to 16 inches. Then the next step is turning these jeans inside out and pinning the seam of the black jean to our guideline on our panel. Once everything's pinned up, it's time to hit the sewing machine. And this is where we're gonna stitch a straight stitch in line with our pin. And if you're able to do this without too much difficulty, then after cutting the threads and cleaning everything up, you got yourself a pair of flare jeans. Now, I won't lie, I had quite a few struggles with these. On one of the legs, I got a little bit distracted, forgot to flip it inside out and actually stitched the fabric the wrong way. So I had to take an extra 20 minutes thread ripping that fabric off and restitching it. But overall for like, my fourth time sewing. They're obviously not perfect, but if I really want to, I can always go back and make these look super clean. But for anybody at home that wants to give this a try, I definitely recommend you do that because as you can see with my novice experience, I was able to make a pretty decent pair of flare jeans. Now I'm curious to know what you guys think of these in the comments below. Do you think they're fire? Do you wish I would have done a different material? And before I go, I would like to know if you guys think these jeans are fire or trash down in the comments below. Of course, I'm gonna continue to try and document my sewing journey. And once my skills improve, hopefully start to create some pieces fully from scratch. Of course, if you wanna see some more content from me, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna see more of my fashion content, make sure to click here to do that. As always, make sure to have a good day and peace.